Are you still unsure how to create a parametric sling? Don't worry, in this video I'm gonna show you how to model that. Before I start, like the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. So let's jump in. So first, by using a sandbox tool and with this option we can create baseline grade. Choose one point, for example, here, like this. As you can see, the distance between grade is uh, too much. Let me change that. How we can do it? After click on this option, in here, as you can see, we can see spacing between grade right now this is 300 centimeter we can change it for example type 50 centimeter and enter again choose one point here like this now as you can see it's changed to 50 centimeter So now again use sandbox with this option small we can rise or lower parts of the surface to create slopes and curves click on it first we should go to inside of this group then use this option and also as you can see in here we can see radius of this option we can change that for example let's change it to 200 centimeter now as you can see it's changed or 150 now we can make the surface like this let me change the radius by 300 like this so as you can see the number of grade is too much too let's change it again again use this option and change it to for example 10 centimeter and create this surface go to inside of that and use again smooth and now As you can see now it's better so after create the parametric surface let me move it up here use rectangle tool and draw rectangle right here Create a surface here. Now select all and take a copy of that up to here. Now divide it by, for example, 50. That's good, I think. So now select all the surfaces, then by right click find intersect faces and come here click on width model like this 
and now just select down surface and delete them like this and also delete this parametric surface because we don't need it anymore so and here we have a problem let me fix that now that's okay and let's extrude them select all and use Fredo join push pull and with this option click on one of the surface and extrude it for example by five centimeter and enter like this now as you can see we have a parametric let me make it group so so guys as you can see our work is done and we meet a parametric selling I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.